Good evening, Fani. Thank you very much for joining us today at India M to M Minority Forum. It is a pleasure to have you join us as our esteemed speaker at the forum. May I request you to please uh, briefly introduce yourself and to enlighten us a little more about yourself, uh, especially your association with Key and the journey thus far. Sure, sure. So, my na name is Fani Pandrangi, and I'm the chief product officer. Uh, at Key, and um, you know I've been with Key for about three years, or a little over three years. Uh, and Key is basically a, a an IoT platform company, um, and we are headquartered in Japan. Uh, but the product is driven from Silicon Valley, and I'm responsible for product. Um, and uh, you know. My past experience has all, always been with products, uh, specifically platform products. So in, in, in various domains, uh, in enterprise software, in mobile, and now, you know, IoT. So this transition has been quite, you know, interesting. Um, in, and, you know, uh, from, a, from an IoT standpoint, because we are an IoT platform, uh, we see a ton of wide range of uh, use cases on a daily basis um, on how IoT is being used in various scenarios. So that is super exciting to me. Uh, and uh, we've seen some of that over here also at the conference. And that's exciting too. A lot is being said and done about uh, M2M and IoT space, uh, especially with regards to the potential it holds in India. What is your take on it and what do you think the industry has in store for the future? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, first, uh, just globally, right, uh, you know, there are lots of IoT scenarios, uh, everything from smart homes to smart health to smart cities. Um, and, and just, you know, just a ton of those kinds of things. And within those, you know, there are just a lot, lot of uh, different uh, verticals as well. Um, and there is activity. There's activity, real activity, real products being developed, uh, real services, you know, being offered through those pro uh, with those products as well. Um, so there is a lot of activity, but at, at the end of the day, you know, um, the business models, like how, you know, they're going to monetize these services, that needs to be figured out. Um, the technology is exciting, uh, the products are exciting, but, you know, who is going to make money and how, that part is, you know, being figured out. Um, and uh, I think it's getting figured out pretty fast, too. So on a global level, it, it's, it's pretty exciting. Um, as far as India is concerned, um, you know, right here at the conference, we've seen uh, a lot of scenarios, uh, especially on the startup side. Uh, you know, people are developing interesting stuff. Um, again, you know, uh, the question is like, what is their target audience? Are they developing these products for India audience, or are they? Do they want to go global? And uh, especially if they want to go global, then do they have the channel to do that? Uh, is something that they have to figure out. And you know, it seems like at least a lot of the folks that I met over at the conference, the the startups, uh, primarily seem to be. Um, catering to the Indian audience, which is great, uh, because they know the Indian audience best. Um, so from that standpoint, uh, you know, I, I'm excited about how things are evolving here. Um, but in terms, that, that's on the startup side and like the kinds of solutions that I've seen. But in terms of like, is there a huge demand for a platform like for, for example, a platform like ours uh, in India, um, still TBD, you know, we, we have to wait and see uh, how this uh, shakes out. What are uh, Key's views about India as a market and the potential it might hold for Key's products and solutions? I, I think we are, uh, you know, part of uh, my being here uh, and, you know, various other trips that we've taken and uh, the, the folks that we are talking to, we are constantly evaluating that, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you cannot just bring a platform and give to people. 
you also have to plug into the ecosystem as well. Uh, to, so uh, developing those relationships and partnerships is the first thing that we have to kind of figure out like how we go about this. Um, and, and then, you know, uh, simultaneously we are evaluating how much demand there is as well. Um, so at the moment it's hard to say. Um, some areas uh, of IoT uh, might be more low-hanging fruit than the others. Um, so we, we, we have to wait and see. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, all these interactions I have to digest. Uh, you know, over the last two days, you know, there are lots of interactions, lots of interesting uh, uh, people that I've met, uh, interesting products and services that I've seen. So I have to think about this and go back and, re you know, kind of evaluate. You are here today at India M2 Minority Forum. What do you think about the entire platform and how important do you think platforms like these are for the industry's growth? I, th I think it's it's super important, right? I mean, like uh, over here at the conference, a lot of the people who are actually doing stuff uh, are, you know, I, I was able to meet a, a many of them. And, you know, it's, it's basically through the conferences like this that you meet potential partners, potential prospects. Um, so, you know, conferences like this are very important and especially IoT, forums are pretty timely now because it's really beginning to take off and uh, it but but there are still so many questions like uh, if you're a startup for example um, you you're a startup because you're trying to do a product or, or whatever it might be it could be a device it could be an app whatever it might be um, the, your competence on that alone is not going to make you successful you need to find all these other people who will actually collaborate with you to get your product to market and you know get you to be successful. And you cannot do that in vacuum. So you have to really hang out with the right people, uh, people who are thinking about these kinds of problems. And you know, because IoT and you know is still kind of people are trying to figure out like what it is, what I can do and things like that. They come to these conferences. Uh, so these conferences serve a really important purpose. Um, and I, I actually should commend you guys for organizing this. Uh, and th there are really some bright people here um, who are really thinking um, about the right kind of problems. Um, so, so yeah, it, it's been very helpful. Thank you very much, Fani, for sharing your views and thoughts with us. We look forward to working closely with you going forward and to also receiving you for our third edition in 2016. Yeah, happy to do that. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having me here. Thank you. Thanks.